Hello and welcome back to the MineTrack.net game server. Yeah, this will be an update for the Exodus build. In the last video, I think I was telling you I was whoops, keep hitting that wrong button there. I was going to work on the nacelle for a little bit, and I went ahead and I did, and now guess what? Milestone. We have two nacelles. Yeah. Yeah, I got the nacelle done. I, it took me a bit, a couple of days, but I finally just decided to tackle the nacelle just before uh, Thanksgiving here in the States. And I don't know, I got hit with some creative inspiration and I got a couple of ideas and I tried to work them out and do a bunch of stuff with it and whatnot. And I eventually went over to the new Voyager and looked at how that ship was done because I looked at the old Enterprise and I looked at a lot of the other Enterprises and I just couldn't find a fit because I was trying to do these bizarre collectors and I had first I had one big one in here and it didn't look good at all then I did two smaller ones and they didn't look good then I had these two in here that I initially borrowed from the design from the from the Voyager over there because they fit and I changed them around just a little bit here and there and whatnot. And then eventually I went with a quad buzzard design because it looks really good in here and it fits really well. And then from there, I made some other changes. I updated these things to, you know, better fit this build. I did my block design, um, went through and I started adding all these little bits and bobs, these little machinery and whatnot. I went through here and did the Jeffrey's tube. Now I'm going to update the rest of the ship uh, for the most part to use this style because look enough said there will be spots in it where around corners and whatnot i'll have to you know somewhat figure out how to uh to do as the as the jeffrey's tube curves around but i'll try and figure something out we have ourselves a little eva or locker here and then of course we come out here we have the rest of the nacelle i uh, added in these big things these reactors i guess you would call them or whatever rockets then this little system right here for the flow controller uh, regulator. And for the flow itself, for the power stream, whatever you want to call it, I just, I use glass. It's the simplest solution. I'm not, you know, for me it works. Some folks probably wouldn't like it, but uh, I like it. It's going to work for me. It's just basic, you know. If, if you're that detail oriented, you can come up with a different block design for your build. By all means, you know, go for it. But for me, this works. It, it's pretty simple. And then down in here, oops, I keep hitting that one key. I'm used to playing Satisfactory. I went ahead and made these battery looking things, although they're not batteries. They're something else. But they look really well. Uh, they look really good and they, they fit down here really well. Then, of course, we have the Jeffrey's tube covered up and then the aft eva locker and then i added this system right here this component and then we come back here i added a couple of these tank like things to these big diamond reactor fusion reactor sort of things and then they come back into here to these uh you know i guess you probably call them rotors that's the best way to describe them and then to this big you know whatever this thing is it doesn't have to go right to the edge of the nacelle because more or less the nacelle you know, this is a highly efficient system. Over time, it's just been made more efficient, so less space is used within the cell. That's my logic, and I'm sticking to it. Of course, I added in these locking latches for all of the coils. And, you know, for the most part, it's all come together really nice. I'm very happy with how it's done, finally. Of course, I can add more details and things to it as I get the motivation or the interest to do it. But, yeah, overall, I'm pretty happy with the look and the fit and finish of it all. So, yeah, pretty cool, pretty cool. And uh, again, these little pathways here. So if you're out here, you can walk around and walk around. You'll know where you're going and whatnot. And let's go ahead and get into the, if we can fit in here without croaking. Here we go. And come through the Jeffrey's tube here and go up these stairs. You got this little, little work area right here. A couple of consoles, whatever these things are, you know, and step up in here and they kind of go up a little bit and whatnot. And you step back, go up the stairwell right here to the control room. Again, this is based off of what I found over in the Voyager. I just made it different. I made it a little bit larger to fit this nacelle for me. And sure, you know, to do my own custom thing in here and whatnot. But uh, yeah, you know, hats off to whoever designed that nacelle over there. Nice job. You guys gave me some inspiration. Thank you very much. Come out here and get a little standing area here to do your observations and whatnot through here. But yeah, 
Yeah, a lot of fun. A lot of fun in designing this one. I had a lot of fun when I did the Enterprise Ds in the cell as well. I wasn't really that involved with the Enterprise Ease overall design, but I most of the stuff in that nacelle I did myself. But the nuts and bolts of it, like the the bizarre collectors and the coils and whatnot, that was done uh, by other folks. But you know, laying in the, the all the other details, like the work bee hanger and all the you know Jeffrey's tubes and everything else, and a lot of the smaller systems, those were mine. Uh, I, you know, I have to tell you, if you get into designing one of these ships, it, it, a lot of the stuff can seem overtaxing, daunting to do. And like with this nacelle, I had to just let it percolate for a very long time before actually going and starting on it because it, it, it did. It was something I was not looking forward to doing. And now that I have it done, I'm very happy the fact that I have it done. Now, I may come through here and change how the way this looks, but this is just a, right now, it's just a placeholder. You know, it's just meant to say, so you get the feeling that you're, you know, doing something, climbing out of something, uh, you know. But I'll go back through eventually, depending on, you know, I get the interest to do it and try to update this to make it more unique looking other than, oh, wow, that's a long climb sort of a thing and I'll start working on the drive hall here and getting the drive hall into filling out the drive hall much like I'm doing with the saucer and everything else let's go ahead and pop up into here and shoot forward here oops there we go and here we are up on I think this is deck seven and We'll go forward. I'll start finishing up the rest of the saucer. I've got deck seven and eight done. So I'll go back this way and we'll just walk around deck seven for a bit. And oh, actually we can drop down. No, we can't. Uh, eh. Getting lost on my own starship again. Gotta love it. We'll just come out in here. All right, so here's the lounge on deck seven. And we'll just walk forward here, kind of looking around a little bit, checking stuff out. I will eventually my next big thing will be these RCS thrusters. I may go with uh, what I did with the Fearless, or I might do a hybrid system based off of the work that I think it was Car Ramrod did over there on his Enterprise C build, or uh, like a hybrid, or, you know, loosely based off of what he did over there. I don't know. I have to come up with my own thing for it, you know, just for my sanity. Say, so, yeah, it's something I designed, you know, whatever. Ish. <laughs> I want to be able to design it so that it fits this ship and it, and it doesn't interfere with the designer style that's going on, say, in a later version. Because if you get one version that looks really good, you have to date it back to, you know, so it fits the older ships. And then you have to date it forward so it fits the newer ships and, and whatnot. So, yeah, it takes a bit of work. It's a lot of fun, you know. Highly recommend it if you're into starship building to go ahead and design your own systems. And, you know, get some inspiration wherever you can get it. So, yeah. Anyway, so here we are in the inner part of Deck 8. This would be the transporter room. And let's go ahead and go this way here. And we'll work our way down. This is Deck 7, excuse me. Down to Deck 8. This is also the medical deck. Yay, medical. And let's go forward here. And we will use the stairwell. And come down here. Huh? So this deck... Build it in. Of course, the navigational core isn't in yet. Most of this room, this deck here, are rooms filled with uh, ship systems. You know, this is part of the trans emergency transporter lay-in. And then we have uh, waste processing and whatever this room is. And then up here, I think it's related to water processing because I believe there's a hatch right here, and you can crawl down into these tanks right here. Any free space that I find on the saucer will most likely be tank use for tank storage for bulk water because there's well that or I guess I could make one of them a deuterium storage as well but the if the saucer separates from the drive section they have to they have to have a source of fuel for the impulse engine right now the impulse engine fuel is stored in the neck and once it detaches you know, there ain't gonna be any fuel now there are fuel storage in deck seven uh, you know, near the near the uh, impulse engines, but it's not a lot. So yeah, the ship has to be able to convert, you know, water, its resource that it has a lot of, in theory, 
and in be able to extract the hydrogen from the water to burn through the or the deuterium to burn through the impulse engine. So yeah, those systems have to all be fleshed out. Anywho, here is the emergency transporter for the starboard side. There are two pads, so you know, 12 people, and you just come up here and boop, out they go. Got a little storage room right here, and we'll cross over. We have a little EVA locker room right here, and there's the Jeffrey's tube. Yay, Jeffrey's tube! And if we come forward here, we will little office area right there. We have a the main EVA area uh, with the big EVA hatch right here. And I did re redesign this room. Initially, it had two doors there and two doors there, and I didn't like the layout. It, so I just went and put one door, of course, space bathroom, and then this big room here will be related to atmospherics for the this area right here. And then over here, a little EVA locker, little staging area, little storage area, and then like another little machine room right here. And then, of course, you know, a little, I'll probably put a door right, probably put a door right here. So come in here like this. So I'll update this with a door right there, just, you know, for fun. But yeah, yeah, pretty much that's it. Uh, the rest of the stuff on this deck here is mostly related to batteries and phasers. This will be filled with batteries. And then this room here, of course, is the forward phaser room. And then you have the port and starboard phasers. And we'll walk around this way here and cut back towards the inner part of the ship center. Little space bathroom right over there. And the little room right there. And the port side emergency transporter. And actually, let's just do this one. Okay, and this is deck nine right here. Uh, we've got this room here. It goes around to the port side. And then again, up here, it goes around to the port side. And if we come this way here, yeah, I, I know it looks a little odd, but instead of going four wide, I just want three wide. So Minecraft, deal with it. And then we have crew quarters through here. Nice spacious crew quarters. I don't say so myself. And you walk forward here. I think there's uh, three per side, so a total of uh, 12 crew quarters on this deck. You have this bigger opener area right here. At some point, if I ever you know, come back and revisit this ship, I might actually make this a lounge and play around a little bit with the windows here, make them more based off the Enterprise D. It's 10 forward lounge. But yeah, that's pretty much it. Uh, I'll finish up here and get deck nine done, and then I'll start working on the uh, neck and the drive hall and get all that stuff done. And you know, hopefully the next couple of days, depending on how I feel, you know, start working on this area, updating the neck and making it more in tune with the rest of the ship's design. Wall pattern-wise, I'll start filling in all this area up here, start adding in the machines and things in here now that I have it all fleshed out how I want to do it. And drop down here, you know, start filling in all of this stuff through here and whatnot. Just doing my thing, getting it all filled in. And, you know, it, it's going to be a bit, you know, a lot of space to fill and a lot of walls to put up and things like that. I'll do the RCS thrusters and then I'll come in and I'll start working on the deflector as I work my way down here. The deflector is the last big main system that has to go into the ship next to the RCS thrusters. So those nacelles were my big worry. Then I'll build the machines and stuff for the rest of the stuff down through whatever the heck this thing is. I have to build a, something for it as well, you know. But that kind of stuff uh, sort of kind of builds itself. You know, probably be a big white box square with a bunch of accents and rebels and whatnot. And uh, just filling in the rest of the stuff so it gets a good fit and finish to it. I have the um, the rear gym area back here. I got to figure out. Uh, there it is. So this will be the new pool. And then they got a little running lap area right here. And... So I'll lay this all in. This will be a, the you know wreck area back here, directly under the one of the parking bays for the main hangar and whatnot. And uh, yeah, yeah, mostly crew quarters and stuff in here. That's why I relocated the and uh, go forward here. I think uh, forward and then up one, maybe two decks or down two decks. I don't know where it's at. It's around here someplace. Uh, right here. You have the lounge. So, yeah, I think it's uh, down one deck, yeah. So, here are the crew, crew, crew stuff, and down two decks. 
you start getting into this area here. And I might update this area. I might change the walls around to be a little bit more towards the white color. Uh, like I did up there with that one of those that lounge up there. Just kind of change it up a little bit so it's not so, you know, 70s looking in here. Yeah, yeah, retro 70s. And then, of course, fill in a little bit more in here. Get rid of this stuff, add water, whatnot. This thing's like a simulated water. But yeah, that's the plan. I'm going to keep working on it, try to do what I can to get it finished, and, you know, work work on from there. Anyways, I do appreciate taking time to watch. Again, uh, this is the MindTrack.net game server. Uh, big thanks again to Michelle Heller for all she does in keeping the server up and running. It's been a little bit slow, as it always is this time of year and whatnot, as people, uh, you know, celebrate the holidays and do their own thing and get on with life in general. Anyways, I do wish you all a happy holiday season, and thanks for watching. Have a great day, and God bless. Bye-bye.